Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to part 3 of the PGR2 game night from the 5th of December. Carrying on in the track specials series, we've got 4 laps of this track in Chicago. And uh, still in the Challenge Stradal, we've got PRG who's remained in the Dodge Viper and Sakis who's also in the Dodge Viper as well. Like I said, these cars very well matched with the Porsche 911 as well. So hopefully should be a decent race. Getting a bit of lag though in this one. As you can see, we get little jolts of micro lag. It does make it really difficult to judge the corners, but uh, Sack is just behind in second place. Again, not taking that very well. So a bad start to this race. But uh, the top three pretty close together, and the rest of the pack has dropped off a little bit already. Taking that not too bad. Sack is going the other side of the bridge to try and get an undercut, which does. Nearly work. I just saw him there. I had to just adjust my line slightly to not hit him. And I'm coming across the line. Still managing to hold on to first place. Sakis just under half a second behind. Not taking that so badly. Just missing the inside of the, the uh, barrier this time. And coming up to this corner again where the lag is still hitting me. And nearly hit the inside of the barrier. Understood into the wall. And Sakis goes into first place. So we've got to see if we can keep up. PRG's dropped a second behind. Going okay around there. I think Sackers may have hit the wall, or that could have just been the lag. And should have gone much quicker through there. That was not a, a good corner. PRG's still in the picture there. And fourth and fifth place quite close together by the looks of it. And I thought that was a good line, but then it doesn't leave you very much room to cut back there. So Sackers... Uh, retains his speed through that section more than I do. And seven tenths behind Sakis and PRG is eight tenths behind me. I think we uh, made slightly some time back around there. And again around that section, just can't do that bit right at all. Always hit the barrier like you've just seen then. So dropping back now, 1.5 seconds behind. Made some silly mistakes in this one and then hitting the wall again. PRG has now gained some time back. And it looks like 4th place is actually making some ground back. And 5th, 6th and 7th are very close together on the map. So I'm trying a different line out. Trying to cut closer to the apex there. So you've got more room to uh, carry speed through there. So that was much better that time. Learned from my first lap. And actually closed the gap significantly there. And pulled away from PRG. So that section was good. Much better than I normally do it. So we've made some time back. Can we make any more time back for the remainder of the last lap? And going through there, okay. I think we may be able to pull back a tenth. And PRG's uh, obviously hit the barrier or done something wrong because he's dropped back 3.3 seconds now. So whoever's in fourth place can try and catch up. And skidding way too much around there, losing too much speed. So dropping back another tenth to 1.8 seconds, but it stayed relatively the same. And going a bit wider on that section, so having to just cut off the speed a little bit to make it around there. Not the best uh, last corner there, but uh, we'll take a second place. Not too bad at all. Sack is uh, in first place once again. 1.8 seconds behind, so that stayed like that for about a lap and a half. Rob actually overtakes uh, PRG in third place. PRG drops to fourth, Jerick in fifth. Well, no, Jerick just shot up to fourth, sorry. They're still running. And PRG uh, sixth, uh, or fifth, and PRG guessed sixth. So pretty close on that uh, section. But uh, in Washington for this funky track. And we do start in first place for once, so that's quite nice. Although, sometimes it might not be nice for the first corner. It's always best to break late and try and dart into the inside of the corner, but that is not how you do it. Completely uh, misjudging that. And then Jerick is sliding all over the place in the 911. Can't get that under control. And actually drives right into uh, Sakas' line there, slowing him up. And again, another corner misjudged by me. Rob is pulling away in first place. Sakis gets uh, the position there. I'll try to go for an undercut. Or a switch back. So I've got a sick back behind him now. And uh, taking that not too bad. So three of us quite close together. I think someone's also fairly close in fourth place. And I don't know what happened there to Rob. He must have hit the inside of the barrier. Drops back now to third place. 
So Sakis in first once again and myself in second trying to close down the gap. Lots of straights on this track, so it's very important to get your uh, exit of the corners well. So you can keep your speed going. Because it's basically a giant square with those uh, weird additions on the left-hand side. To make it a little bit more interesting. So Sakis, eight tenths ahead. Jerick has now moved up into third place, three seconds behind. So Rob's dropped down further, but taking that really well. Nearly getting into the slipstream of Sakis. Over the jump. And taking that really nicely as well. Last couple of corners have been really good for actually making some ground. If only it could be more consistent. And just taking that a little bit too wide. And you can see all the time gained as lost through that section. But that section is good as well. And Saka seems to have taken that quite well. But uh, very bunched up behind us. By the looks of things, from third to seventh, it's fairly close. And eight tenths, and then behind Sackett, and not really doing that corner very well, losing time again. And then hitting the inside of the wall. So we're just losing ground on every corner now with silly mistakes. Very annoying, but uh, still in second place, so not the end of the world. Let's see if we can do the last couple laps any better. That was quite nice through there. And someone is catching in third place. We'll have to see who that is. Rob has now made it back into third place after his earlier error. 2.3 seconds behind us. And uh, someone's fairly close in fourth. And fifth and sixth are close as well together. So 1.3 seconds behind Sakis. Rob 2.7 seconds behind. Much better through there. See if we can keep this consistency up. Unfortunately not, just tapping the barrier. Even if you do tap the wall, it does drop your speed off quite significantly. And Sakis is driving very well around this bit, so it looks like we are dropping back slightly to 1.9 seconds this time. So just losing a, a tenth on every other corner, it seems. Rob is dropping back a little bit more now, four seconds behind. Taking that quite nicely, though. But uh, it... Sack is disappearing into the distance now. There's a big gap between second and third. Taking that really well until I hit the wall and it looks like that's going to be it. 2.5 seconds drop behind. So we'll see if on this last lap we can keep the time the same or try and claw any time back. Try not to make any silly mistakes. Coming down the hilly bumpy section for the final time. At least taking that one quite smoothly. 2.4 seconds behind Sakis now. Rob, 4.1 behind us. And taking that, not too bad. Been a bit more consistent this lap, which is good to see. And we have closed the gap slightly. I think it was... Was it more than 2.4? Well, it might have stayed around the same, actually, but Rob is dropping back for sure. Coming up the hilly section for the final corner. And taking that quite nicely. So another second place. We'll take that. Not too bad at all. Had a few seconds so far in the game night. 2.8 seconds behind us. We did drop behind uh, a few tenths there. Rob in third place. And fourth, fifth, sixth. Seventh and eighth are still running. PRG and PRG Guest actually finished a second within each other there. In fourth and fifth. And for the final race in the um, track specials, we're moving to the Noble. Everyone in the Noble this time. Because it's a uh, bit OP in the class. So it makes sense for everyone to pick this car. But shooting up into first place. Jarek had a bit of a delayed start there. And um, just checking out the different views, because it looks really close, this Noble. When you're in the far far chase camera, it does look quite close for some reason. But um, in first place, three laps of this track. It's a very strange track, this one. Very complicated. Rob just behind in the Noble. Can we drive more consistently in this race? That is the question. 
Noble's very quick, noticeably quicker than the uh, other three cars that were involved in the last race, or the last few races. Seems to be going okay so far, driving pretty well around this bit, taking that quite nicely. Did go on two wheels briefly, but PRG Guest has um, moved up into second place, it looks like, just ahead of Rob. And it was going smoothly until it hit the inside of the barrier. As I do that at least once per lap, for sure. And Rob has overtaken into second place now. 1.5 seconds. So it's good. So they're fighting in uh, second place there, which gives me time to try and pull away. See if we can actually bag a win. This corner is very hard to take. Really difficult to take. It's almost better to uh, try and slide all the way around that, because it's a very long apex to try and navigate around there. But Rob in second. PRG, I think, has moved into third, not the guest. And I uh, don't think that's really the best line through there, but um, still in first place. There's three in the chasing pack behind, fairly close together. Rob is 1.6 seconds behind now. And taking that bit quite okay there. I think it's PRG and Sack is fighting for third place there. Rob's still in second, chasing me down. But taking that corner, okay. Saka seems to have broken away in third place there. So he's on the hunt for Rob in second place. But uh, very bunched up again in this one. The other cars uh, towards the back of the pack are fighting quite close together. But taking this fairly consistently, quite nice and tidy through this bit. But still, they're quite close behind the rest of them don't take that corner very well could go a lot wider through that section but okay through there so still Rob second Sack is third trying to see if they can close any gap down looks like Sack is, is gaining on Rob there and Rob's staying the same distance behind me and it looks like Rob actually made a mistake there which gives Sack the opportunity to make a move Again, around this section, actually did hit the inside of the wall, stopping us, but it meant it meant that we uh, stuck quite close to the inside. So, again, not sure the best way to take that corner. It's very difficult. Sackers has overtaken Rob now, so we've got to try and hold him off for just over a lap. Trying to stick more to the right-hand side for this corner so you get a better exit through here, which managed to do that time. Again, Sackers gaining, tracking me down for... One more lap. See if we can hold on to the lead. Six tenths behind. Rob still in third place. Uh, I'd say fourth and fifth and sixth, possibly. They're quite close together. Oh no, Rob's just behind, isn't he? So I think fourth is just behind Rob and then fifth and sixth are quite close together. But uh, doing that bit okay. Taking that a little bit wide. But I think Sakis may have made a mistake. Rob actually caught back up to Sakis there. So it's a good little uh, battle for first place between the three of us. Sakis now dropped to eight tenths back. And uh, it could have gone a bit wider through there, but it gives, gives me a better line through this section. I've taken that section okay each time, which is good to see. Still not taking that section well at all. That's the one section I need to improve on this. And uh, Sakis has gained a few tenths through there. In fact, half a second. There's only three tenths behind now. And just not getting enough uh, whip on the power slide there to go round. Not many corners left, but can we hold on to the victory? fully slide around here. It was a little bit better that time, but I did get caught on the inside, so that was fairly nice around there. Around here is okay. Just click on the wall, though. Saka seems to have dropped off maybe a tenth, but he's in the slipstream now, so getting that speed boost. Trying to stick to the inside of here so he can't undercut. 
And then going a bit wide through there. Not the best line. Sack is right behind now. On to the last corner. He can go up the inside. But decides to back out. Because there isn't enough room there. So we do, in fact, get the win. Well fought. Very good race. Very close between uh, the top three there. And uh, get the win. Sack is behind. Six tenths. Rob, 2.3 behind. Um... PRG not too far behind there in 4th place Noll in 5th, Jerick in 6th and PRG Guest in 7th place so good race that one but we move on to the extreme class a variety of cars being used again and uh, Mr G has gone into the 4 GT to make it a bit more fair from the, uh, the ultimate class but uh, in Sydney for this one in the Ascari Noll in the F50, Jerick in the Ascari as well I'm doing that absolutely awfully, that corner. There's a couple in the XJ220 as well. But uh, getting used to this car. Not too bad around there. Jerick actually hits Noll, who bounced off the wall. Spinning him out completely, I think. And uh, sliding a bit too much around there. Not brilliant. Noll's uh, still in first place in the F50. And Jerick still in third place by the looks of it. Coming round to this uh, sweeping left-hander. Noll taking that nearly very well, just hitting the barrier on the inside. Screwing that up slightly. But uh, taking that okay, and it looks like Sackers has um, moved up into second place. And now I make a huge error. I thought we were going to the right-hand side of the track. Or there was a right-hand corner there, and completely forgot that there was a left-hander there, even though we've already gone round it. I thought the track was going off to the right. So, um, yeah, that was my mistake completely. Dropping way back into second place now. And, uh, yeah, sometimes sometimes you don't look at the track for some reason. Because you're too concentrating on uh, other things. But um, there we are. PRG is now behind. 1.4 seconds. Sakis is pulling away in first place. And we've got uh, only four laps of this one. It's not the longest track, this one. So we'll see what we can do. 2.5 seconds. So that is the target. See if we can gain anything back. And not doing that well at all. Understeering completely into the wall. Again, hard to take that corner. Really difficult. So this time, I knew we were turning left, not right here. So I can break in time and take that quite nicely. And Rob's uh, gaining now in the... Uh, I think he's in the XJ220. 1.7 seconds behind, so he is catching. But uh, I think I'm doing this section okay. Bit of lag again happening. Under the bridge. And uh, around this side. Sackers is disappearing now, though. 3.2 seconds. Rob 2.5 seconds behind. This seems to be... Uh, the position I end up in most second place. Seems to be taking that okay though. Rob dropping back slightly now in third place. Taking that a better this time. Not hitting the wall. Did have to uh, back off. Accelerating slightly though. Across the line for the final lap. Again dropping behind even further. 3.8 seconds. Plus that was not a good corner. Getting stuck on the barrier again. Jarek seems to have given up there, doing 360s at the back, waiting until the next race. But uh, still doing that corner okay. And power sliding way too much around there. Losing a bit of speed. And then hitting the wall. And uh, yeah, not just not doing very well at all. Not a very good race from my perspective, this one. We'll have to try and uh, do better next time. But still, second out of eight's not too bad. And it's quite spread out for the rest of the track, it seems, as well. Coming around the second to last corner. Rob's actually gaining slightly in the XJ. And onto the final straight. Comfortably in second. But uh, could have challenged for first a bit more. That would have been nice. But uh, there we go. Second place. Sack is first. Rob in third place. PRG guest in the XJ220 in fourth. Noll in fifth. PRG in sixth. Mr. G in seventh. And that leads us on to the final race of the uh, the part, I believe. Five laps. 
more interesting this one there's a very tight section of corners to start this race off with so uh, eight cars in that uh, tight cornering is not going to go so well so everyone all over the place for the first few try to go around here get nudged everyone stops then a go for a little gap that appears on the inside there managed to go up like four positions in half a second there that was quite crazy but behind PRG guess now who's in the XJT20 Taking a good line through there. I think I may have just pinned Noel there to the wall or someone in the F50. Trying to find the line. Trying to go around the inside of PRG Guest. Looks like I might just get the job done. So up into second position. Again, our favourite position. 3.2 seconds behind Rob. Coming around the chicane bit. And again, I didn't realise where I was. For some reason, I thought I was turning right there. Again, not paying attention to the track. So, uh, completely hitting the inside of the chicane. Awful again, from my perspective. Sakis moves up into second, Noll into third. Noll then breaks far too late, flies into the barrier, so we move back up into third. Sakis in second, going to try and chase down Rob. And uh, myself in third place. But well, after a few crazy corners, I think it's um, settled down now. Uh, PRG Guest moving up into what would look like fourth place and taking this okay not too bad around this section 1.5 seconds behind Sakis to whether we can actually do this better this time no collisions this time so that's okay around here actually taking that really nicely gained some time on Sakis there two tenths bit wide on that section though. Going to lose some time there. PLG guest dropping back a little bit. Three seconds behind. And taking that bit okay. This track is very difficult to take quickly. Some of these corners, especially here. Took the complete wrong line around there and losing loads of speed and time. Not ideal. And power sliding way too much there. So we are dropping back a little bit. Rob's still way out in first. So we'll have to see if um, Sakis can catch him up at the end there. Sakis 2.3 seconds ahead now, so he is moving further ahead. PRG guess dropping back further down, though. We can just about see Rob in the distance, actually. But uh, moving on to the second final lap. Again, way too late on the brakes, losing a lot of time around there. And then making one of the only mistakes I've really made in this one. One of the massive mistakes. Other than the, the, what happened on the first lap. But um, yeah, that's dropped us down quite a few seconds now. To nearly four seconds behind Sakis. Very annoying. But um, yeah, we'll see what we can do for the rest of it. See if we can gain any time back. Only one and a half laps to go now. And uh, Sack is only 3.5 seconds ahead, so I'm not sure what's happened there. Whether he crashed or something. We are pulling away from fourth place, that's one thing, but um, it looks like Sackis is probably the same distance away now. Onto the final lap. This time breaking much earlier and getting a much better line through there. That's what we wanted to see. And taking that bit a little bit better this time as well. Again, this section is really hard to take. You've got to really stick to the inside of that left-hander, which I failed to do again. First couple of laps, I did that quite well, that section, but uh, it wasn't meant to be for these two laps. So again, falling back massively. Rob seems to have made a mistake, so Sakis is right on his tail now. Not many corners left for them. It's going to be a close finish between first and second, but it looks like we've got third cemented now. At least it's a podium. crashing into the wall. Not a brilliant lap, that one, but uh, we'll take the third position, so we'll see who did come first in the end there. And it was, in fact, Rob. Saka's only four tenths behind. I was five seconds behind Rob in the end. But, uh, yes, that is going to do it for part three, guys. Only one part to go. Part four, and it is very, very good. Some really good races in the Ultimate Class, so stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time.